Hello, my name is Alicia Zantea and I'm going to share a poem song called Life on a Silver Platter. You know, I always wondered why I couldn't look her in the eye, her square trying to be a circle, couldn't fit in if she tried. And even in her best friend's homes, where the laughter seemed to flow, there was a voice inside her head, you're not welcome here, it said. And so she built her castle walls of stone and pretended that she wasn't home. This princess in the tower high, with masks to hide the tears inside. Fuck this, she said, I'll be a warrior instead, and off to save the world she went. With a tough pretense, she was hell-bent on making it, even faking it. With a fragile heart, this military fairy found a fresh new start. With a whole new tribe, she wore a confident shine, accepted and elevated. She did well for a while, but she was in denial that inside there lurked a tyrant and knew her darker secrets until she could no longer hide them. Sergeant Mighty was a pocket rocket whose loyalty was gold. But Staff Sergeant Spineless fed an insecurity and she disappeared in a deep dark hole. The more she fought, the worse it got. It had her by the balls. And so she bought a Hilux and would escape into the hills. Time spent on her own was like a piece she'd never known. This destructive monkey mind had her well and truly trapped inside. Braveheart was her nightly solace while she ironed crispy sleeves. Her inner hippie spirit called as freedom echoed through her walls. She dreamt she could be him one day, fight battles for freedom and glory, and make speeches, pulling brown eyes beneath kilts that mocked her enemy. But her enemy hid well within, so paralysed with fear. They called her a big old phony, heart bleeding, lost and lonely. Don't you remember who I am? A voice like soft as me. It's just a game, my darling. Don't believe all that you think. Now when I look into her eyes, it seems the universe resides between the blinks and missing links with cleverly disguised. And all the early chapters, well, they only really mattered to make today's eternal now taste like the sweetest chocolate on a handcrafted silver platter. Oh, oh, oh. I'll kiss your wounds and smile and say It's okay, you'll be stardust soon Then we'll play again in a whole new way Hey, yeah, hey, hey. yeah, oh Gotta get out of my own way Cause I came to this earth to play So that is Life on a Silver Platter And I'd like to share a little bit about um, that poem and, and song um, It's a, a poem that I wrote um, maybe a couple of months ago and I was reflecting, I guess, on the last maybe 10 year journey that I've had of um, rediscovering who I was underneath, um, you know, all the fog and, and the heaviness and the seriousness that life can accumulate on top of like this bubbly, um, vibrant, you know, joyful child, little girl that I was. Um, and you know, there's no one, there's nobody that I 
have any blame or um, or there's no regrets that I have. Um, I was a sensitive child and I had to learn how to understand that we are energetic and empathic um, beings. We are 99.9% .9 space, literally at our atomic level. And um, it, yeah, it was a real gift when I understood that all of that um, journey of you know being in the military for seven years in New Zealand and um, rediscovering my creativity through design and arts um, and going and blasting in the mines and being in these real pressure cookers where I saw the parts of me that I didn't want to be and I saw all the programming that had been um, accumulated in my belief systems and my expectations of myself and all the shoulds and shouldn'ts and the coulds and um, you know the the things that we do to please other people I was a people pleaser and I didn't fucking like it so when I had the the epiphany that you know I had to rediscover who I was underneath all the labels and the shoulds and shouldn'ts and there was a time of rebelling and moving into my van um, you know giving away and selling most of my things and feeling what it is to be lonely in a room full of friends and feeling what it is to be um, rejected and feeling pain and learning how to be comfortable with those things to the point where I recognize that all of those things are already within me and when I live my life from joy and what feels good rather than from expectation, responsibility and external validation, then this whole new world of freedom opened up where I could observe my mind and the tricks that it, that it was telling me, this internal critic that um, has many things to say and many of which are very negative and self-defeating. So yeah, the last seven years has been learning about um, my mind and my body and and my soul and what nourishes those things and yeah just the inspiration to share that journey has been has become my work and when I say work I mean um, my passion and seeing um, other people you know excavate all the bullshit that has accumulated that is really um, preventing their full expression of their creativity and, and their, their gold, you know, the juice that flows from your heart when you are feeling like a child, like in wonder and beauty of the world. Um, yeah, so that was the journey of, of life on a silver platter. And um, I hope to share a lot more of this journey through music and through arts and creativity. I, I literally only started singing when a couple of, um, you know, my brothers from from New Zealand who I met in the Gold Coast, Ranfilly and Lawrence, um, encouraged me to come and have a jam with them. So seven, what, eight years ago, I, I hadn't even sung in front of people before. Um, I certainly wasn't writing poetry. And yeah, it's been a really beautiful discovery self-discovery and now I live in this beautiful place um, which is such a blessing this forest is the most magical channel of creativity and song and insight um, yeah so this is where I get to share a lot of these uh, workshops and festivals and you know just um, sharing songs with friends around the campfire underneath the stars I I'm blessed and um, really really aware of what a privilege it is to be in this place at this time in our human evolution so thank you if uh, you've made it all the way to the end for sharing in my story and um, yeah blessings to you <laughs>